Fenrir Dog to Bordeaux show. If this is your first time here, then my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything that we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you to become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video, where we will be taking a look at the history of this unique, large breed. This Mastiff type breed is thought to have originated in Bordeaux, France, and has been around since the 14th century. There are several theories surrounding how exactly the Dog de Bordeaux came into existence, with some attributing their ancestry to that of the Tibetan Mastiff, Neapolitan Mastiff, and possibly various Greek Mastiffs. In general, the Dog de Bordeaux is believed to have descended from the Roman Molossoids that were introduced to France in the 1st century BC by Julius Caesar's legions. These ancestors of the Dog de Bordeaux were huge dogs that were used in war and as gladiators, battling other dogs as well as large wild animals. In France, the Dog de Bordeaux were originally also used as fighting dogs and hunters. By the late 1700s, they were known for guarding the huge estates of nobles and aristocrats. However, during the French Revolution, this came to an end when their employers were abruptly imprisoned or marched to the guillotine. Unfortunately, lots of Dog de Bordeaux died during this period and their numbers dropped significantly. However, after the war, the breed managed to make a resurgence and after this period, they came to be used on farms and vineyards, moving heavy objects, pulling carts and guarding livestock, earning them their nickname, the Butcher's Dog. The breed originally came in two varieties, the Dog de Bordeaux and the Dogween, which was a smaller version of the breed. However, the Dogwins disappeared in the 1700s and the variation no longer exists today. The Dog de Bordeaux's ancestors originally had their ears cropped, but this is now illegal in most countries, so you will more than likely see them with their ears hanging down their heads. Until the late 1980s, the breed was almost unknown to the world, being confined only to France. However, in 1989, the movie Turner and Hooch was released, starring a Dog de Bordeaux as Tom Hanks' lovable sidekick and so the breed made its debut to global audiences. In 1997, the breed was officially recognised by the UK Kennel Club, but unfortunately the breed suffered a period of commercialisation around this time in the UK. Because many people were attracted to that macho image of the Dog de Bordeaux, this led to irresponsible and profit-driven breeding, which damaged the overall health of the breed. Today, however, the dedication and perseverance of serious breeders has helped restore the dog to Bordeaux, and in 2016, the breed was awarded championship status by the Kennel Club. The dog de Bordeaux is a large, powerful-looking breed. Male dog de Bordeaux usually stand at 24 to 27 inches at the withers and weigh anywhere upwards of 110 pounds. Females stand at 23 to 26 inches at the withers and weigh anywhere over 99 pounds. They have a large head with an overshot jaw, small ears that are a little bit darker than their overall coat colour. They have a very strong neck and a muscled back. This breed should have a deep, long chest and powerful legs. The Dog de Bordeaux is a loyal, courageous and affectionate breed. They make excellent guard dogs as they will defend their family with aggression if needed, but when off duty they are playful and docile. They create strong bonds with their family. Dog de Bordeaux need positive reinforcement and plenty of, the re of rewards. They need calm, consistent leaders that will start training and socialisation from the day that you bring your puppy home. They are a breed that want to please their owners, which makes consistent training easier than it can be with other breeds. The Dog de Bordeaux is certainly a striking breed with a fascinating and somewhat mysterious history. Throughout their breed timeline, they have been cattle herders, war dogs, guard dogs, and were even used to bait jaguars and bears. Their large appearance can look quite intimidating, but with the right work and consistent approach, they be can become perfect, lovable companions. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learnt something new. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you never miss any future updates. We have regular Dog de Bordeaux videos dropping every week, so I can't wait to see you all again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Dog de Bordeaux show.